Hello and welcome back to the Division of Soul Hotel where we're back with Legend of Keepers trying to not die, basically. But uh, I do not I do not seem to be very good with the engineer. Uh -huh. I mean, to be fair, I, I, I lost a lot with all of them, but I feel like I'm especially bad with the engineer. Speaking of which, I've got such a uh, diminutive team, I'm fine with my terrible team. Yeah, my team is so diminutive, because everyone's on break, that I, uh, really need to, uh, have a smaller team. Sorry. <laughs> Good grief. I get that, don't I? Where I just trail off because my brain has stopped working. I need weaker enemies, because I can't fight them properly with a small team. Ice everywhere, fire at the front, air at the front. I'm noticing you're not very good against armor. I forget what exactly I have here. But I might as well use the ballista because I think it'll do decent damage. Sort of? I'm not expecting great things from this if I'm honest. So, you don't like fire. Neither of you like fire. Okay, I'll put you at the back for what it's worth. Oh wait, you're going to move them all around. Which means that I really want to put them in the last place I would possibly want them to be. So I want you in front of you, so this way you have to end up in front of you, right? Then the energy converter for sweet shielding. And then this mess. I don't like where this is going, but... Ready to shoot. We can hopefully try and do as much damage as possible. I suspect they're going to reach me, because I mean... It feels like my entire fight strategy is just the monsters. Interesting. Randomly moves all monsters. You know, I need to try and figure out if that's actually random or not. Because they both moved one to the right, effectively. Because he was here, one to the right. He was there, but then if you one to the right, you go all the way back around. So maybe? Wow, they're taking this much damage from, like, the first couple of enemies. Um. Ooh. Yeah, if they've taken that much damage from the first couple of enemies, then, um, they, they must be significantly weaker, not being the veterans. Which is, which is nice, that's what I wanted. It's still shocking just how much weaker they seem to be. Look at that, this thing is mostly just applying poison, but it's actually doing significant damage. What do you know? Right. Hit him hard. Mm, could have been harder. But seriously, that guy is low armor to begin with, plus broken armor, plus that trap. It's sad, but the traps just don't seem to do a whole lot. Which is weird, because I'm the trap person, right? I mean, obviously there's upgrades that I could be getting that would actually make the traps more likely to double fire, possibly do more damage, I forget what exactly they were. That's an option, in theory. I have technically put my upgrade points, few of them that I've gotten, into uh, upgrading the creatures. Then I always felt like I had to do that, you know? didn't feel like I could actually... Because my creatures are the thing that are actually doing the best damage. And I want to try and use barrier to best effect. Another one of these. I don't think I need multiple of you. Increases penalties. Well, you know what? Having multiple of you might not be a bad thing. I say that based on the fact that occasionally something will happen to make me lose a trap. Great. I've seen... <laughs> oh, I didn't... I didn't get to see if his thing upgraded them, because of course the barrier thing would have put armor on them as well. Because what exactly does it say? Um, monsters in the dungeon get five barrier points. It's not room, it's dungeon, so... In theory? Uh, I don't know, though. Okay, let me see. You... Uh, wait, no, I think I actually wanted you to have barrier, because you're probably part of breaking barrier. 
it just feels like I'm trying to say Breaking Bad every time I say that. Right. This is not a great team, but it'll work. Hopefully. I, I, I can dream. Right. More power, more health. I'm going to go more health. I feel like whenever I deal with um, games... Well, it feels like there's a... Sure. It feels like there's a pattern, like... Shielding is normally more powerful than health, because you can just prevent damage from ever happening. But then... Yeah, okay. And then they get sick? No. Oh. Hmm. Hey, hold on. Let me read this. It's hard to look into the stock room. During the cleaning, one of your employees found this strange object. Would you like to take it, auction it, or give it to the employee? Monsters in the room get two bonuses, if they all share the same type. Sure, because I mean, I'm mostly all the same type, right? I'm just using mechs for the most part. Oh, against my better judgment. Against... Oh! There's actually specific bonuses you get for being them. I should be paying attention to that. To, like, search for the right sort of things I want. It's possible, like, beating basic adventures to get me a bonus, whereas, like... If it's, if it's saying veterans, you get a trap at the end, and, it, and, I'm, and I don't need any more traps, then it's like, oh. How did I never notice that? Just not paying attention, I guess. So you should fire at the back and avoid the first trap. Pain in the rear. Um, hmm. I can't use that, because he'll dodge it and the trap will be completely useless. But at the same time, that means I can't use the energy converter before that. Your first thing is uh, physical damage, right? So your first strike would probably be physical damage. So I'll save the ballista for second. Because that might be better. On the other hand, all of your damage is physical. No, you know what, actually. I wish you could just click on these things. And it would take you there. Because that would just be so convenient. Right, okay. You in first, because most of their attacks are at the front. You are not good against fire, neither are you. Physical damage. They actually have some physical resistance. You know what? Fine, I'm going to put these guys at the front. I'm going to put him at the back to soak up the fire. What's your ability again? Ignores the first attack suffered. That's a pain. And you heal them. Just once, though, so it's not too bad. You resist fire pretty well, so you can sit at the back. You're fragile as anything, so you can just sit in the middle. Uh, how would you have ice resistance? Look at you. Anyway. Um, and then the poison dart. The energy converter would work, but I still haven't figured out whether or not that actually gives shielding to the boss. It might, but I just... Every time I've done it, I, it hasn't registered whether that's worked or not. I don't know whether that's just me being stupid and just not paying enough attention. Or if it's not obvious. Because, I mean, they can get barrier from other sources as well. It's a bit like with the little flyer guy. I didn't know whether he gave a uh, shield to the back people. Because they would also have gotten shields from the energy converter thing. I should have potentially tried to do the math. Oh, I love this thing. They get two random bonuses, so long as they're all the same type, and I think, yeah, they're basically all the same type. If I just stick completely to mechas, which I have bonuses for, then... Win. Clunk. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep hitting with this, I guess. Because I can stack a lot of Demoralize on them, which will make them take more damage from this lot. I could just keep bombarding this guy, but I don't think I'll be able to kill him, so I might as well try and soften all of them up, I guess. Now, see, if this... Hold on. Hold on. You would push him below 75, then you would definitely get your turn. So then you get him twice? Whereas that won't quite push him there. But it will give demoralize to all of them, and all of the morale is looking a bit shaky. Okay, no, I'm gonna go for the all strategy. I could
could have hit him three times, because this would have worked. But, wait, is he actually... Oh, he is below 75. So I could hit him twice. No, I think I want to just... Like, an extra, what, th three Demoralize or two Demoralize? Because they know I've got a Demoralize of ten on them. They're losing morale super fast. Um, and I can hit them even more. I mean, I could just scare these guys off, potentially. Like, yeah, they're gonna... A couple of them, at least, are probably just gonna run away. Uh, if I, I'm just gonna focus on a bit more defense. If, I, if none of them die, then we don't, uh, we don't need any, any, any breaks. <sighs> Swoop. I just love that move. What, what exactly does it specify? It just doubles its damage if he has any barrier points. That's such a good move. To me, anyway. Right. Focus on shielding, please! Because they'll run away! We don't need to do anything but survive, and they'll run away. Just, I love that move! Look at it! Bang! Right. Uh, I like that move. That's actually possibly the best move that they have. Because not only does it hit them hard, but it also gets me barrier points. Which allow so it's like both offense and defense. Good rounded move. Ah, uh, these guys, they're so fragile. Right, you, what do you do again? Right, you give yourself barrier points. So you don't actually fit the barrier thing that much. Don't get me wrong, the front the first ability if I could max out their barrier, it'd be powerful. I mean, like, do I even want to use these guys if I can avoid it? Because I just get straight up bonuses for only playing mechs. Um. Yeah, I guess I want to go here. I'm wary of that thought of those thighs coming back to haunt us. I mean, that sounds um, that sounds fitting to me, doesn't it? Oh wait, was that? Oh no, that could shouldn't that couldn't have been the backup one. I, there it is. See? Uh, no. See, if only it been the two ones I don't care about so much. Oh well. Uh, hmm. The R and D manager needs a guinea pig to test a new trap. He's asking you for a problem with one of your employees. No. 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 Um. You know what? Fine. I will pay my own flesh and blood. To get money. Stronger heroes are coming. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, I've already heard it. Um, do we try? Yeah, I try. Risk and reward. Let's hope this doesn't kill me because I just took a hit to my own health. Depends who it is. That's just it. I feel so fragile because almost all of the attacks are physical based. I do have ways of softening their physicality. Fortunately, she has no armor. Um. Right. Oh, yeah. Blasts everyone with nature. That's not fun for anyone. I could do this, because otherwise I'm never going to get the chance. On the other hand, how is... I mean, your morale is pretty sturdy. Um, you replace penalties. You dodge the first trap. Ah. No point using energy converter. She will just dodge it. So never mind then. Good thing I checked that. Well, that would have been very embarrassing. Air at the front. You resist air fairly well. Uh, <sighs> nature is not something that's resisted very well here. I would use him for his nature resist, but just can't. So, one of you is just going to get absolutely massacred. Although, maybe I don't want that. Maybe I'd rather lose this guy and just do what I did last time. Because if these guys get, like, a couple attacks each of the morale, we could potentially scare these two off, then we just need to deal with her. Maybe? Right, let me see. Air at the front. Who resists air? 
you, but you've only got 30 health, so no thank you. You'll be lucky if you survive their first attack, good grief. Physical at the back. Uh, you've got more armor. You, I'll just put here because... Because I guess I will. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how happy I feel about uh, about any of this. Please don't lose. I don't want to lose. <laughs> not so soon. So that wasn't too bad. Okay, let me see what I can do here. I do like the fact that it just gets me more stuff. Okay. Toxicity. And a bit of shield for you to help you not die so fast. Not as fast, I think. I mean, if you die turn one, then it hasn't really done anything. Okay. Bombard. What was that? Oh, you replaced your demoralized with enhanced armor. That's unfortunate. Still, that won't protect you from being demoralized by the head of someone who you maybe knew being shot in your face. Of course, she sheds debuffs like crazy, doesn't she? But her attack is reduced for every debuff on her? I think so. Aw, we're not going to get another attack. So the morale strategy didn't work at all. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, there's so one of at least one of them is softened up. That's not bad. Um, uh, won't last. Free barrier points to the next people. That's tempting. Um, morale not worth it. Could hit that one kinda hard, and then Hawk person would be hitting them hard as well. Or give them more barrier points. Because they're not getting ba Ooh, they're not getting barrier points by any other means, and he does more damage if he's got barrier. Yeah, okay, we'll do the barrier. Hmm. <laughs> right. Um, poisoning? I mean, there's not much point doing that. Could do that for even more barrier, but I think I'm going to go for the damage, because I need to get rid of these people. Although nature, yeah, it's not going to work on her. Zen... Zenadia? I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Karen. No comment. Love this move. Unfortunately not quite good enough right now. Ow. Okay. Quickly. Sacrifice some of your health to keep my others alive a few seconds longer. It's important. Bonk. You're not surviving too badly, and we're soon going to be rid of these two. And it's just the one. And that one hits everyone. So I can potentially nullify, not nullify, but so, oh, he's dead. Oh, that's bad. I didn't think he'd die so fast, but his health is completely through the floor. Fortunately, these ones are both gaining armor. So I think we should be able to deal with this one without losing anyone else. Bonk. Gaining armor very fast. Well, I mean, is it worth using this guy's converter ability? He's doing most of the damage. Bonk. Well. Oh, the overheat thing ran, ran out. Of course, it only lasts so many turns, doesn't it? Forgot about that. Still, didn't lose anyone else other than, well, obvious. What is this? <laughs> a tank? Oh, I love that. I love that one. What, let's look, I have to look at this guy. Tank. <laughs> this is more like it. 
Okay, fire damage and poison? Oh, a pie is poison if he has at least 50 barrier points. Seriously? Ah, that's a lot of barrier points. Right, hold on. Gains 50% of the total barrier points the other monsters of the group have at the start of its turn, to a maximum of 40. Okay, so if they all have a bunch of barrier, he can stack it up? Air damage and minus morale applies demoralized if the tank has 50 barrier points. Gee, I don't know. I like the idea of the moves. But it all relies on him having a whole bunch of barrier. I don't know how likely... I mean, I, have I ever had 50 barrier? He gets a bit of a surge right at the start, right? I kind of want to use him, but this is such a good artifact. I have to try, I have to try this guy. He just looks too cool to put down. Unfortunately, these guys have to go. Hmm, there's no chance of him having barrier unless he's in this team. Hmm. So, if I'm going to use this guy, how would I be using him? Uh, these two can apply barrier to him, so they could actually go, well, not quite full defense, but... Uh, hmm. Come on. Okay, this is kind of an okay-ish team. I want to try this one out. I want to see what happens if you level it up. There's always one of the things. You can't... Oh. I'm going to insult them, because that way I get their tears. Business trip. Who can we send away? Well, I don't care about you. Uh, if their motivation is full. Well, you know, it won't always work, but it'll work sometimes. Vent. Professional mourner. Huh? Effect. I guess I need some... Oh, it's that uh, dog thing. Money for tears. Vancy is offered to Christ to a stranger to Christ. You could get a small amount of tears for free if you show her a skeleton dog to get her all emotional. That's kind of funny. They find skeleton dogs cute. I guess. Sure, I, I guess. Just because tears are so hard to get in my primarily killer kill everyone strategy. Risk and reward. I really want to see what this tank does, because it looks cool. I seem like I'm getting all sorts of different uh, mechs this time. See how they play off of each other. Because yeah, it seems like there must be ways to absolutely break barrier like crazy. I just haven't quite found them yet. Um, hmm. Right. You need fire resistance at the front. You're the only one who has any of that. You also hit physical at the front and nature at the front. Okay, so we're just completely up the creek with no paddle. I mean, the one good thing about them all attacking at the front is it makes them predictable. Right, we'll use this to try and get more barrier on this team, the tank might actually be able to do what it wants to do. So they're all attacking from the front here. Hmm. So put the tank at the back and use it like a mortar. I um, guess we're not using you, which is a shame, because... I, I want to try the tank. I want to try the tank. So let's see if this works. Uh, this is this is a point of curiosity. Okay then. Has at least fifty barrier points. That fifty thing again. Are we supposed to be able to get that many barrier points? I'm lucky if I get twenty. Ugh, you didn't even get a turn, man. That's not fun. Zap. See, the, the, the enemies they attack, 
most of them do like, you know, 60, 60, 42. Whenever will I be able to get that much barrier points? These things don't do that much damage. They don't get that many points. The point, uh, the points acquisition doesn't upgrade to that sort of length. Now, sure enough, like with the energy converters and this thing, I can potentially get a fair bit of barrier points on these guys at the back. So now they have 60 or more. Right. I thought you were supposed to... Oh, so like it can't take you above 40? Come on. Okay, now you have your barrier again. They're just going to rip the barrier off so fast. I feel like there's only a couple of situations where they can realistically... Oh, that can take your barrier. Warning shot. Okay, let's see how well Napalm works. It says it does fire damage, but it does poison damage. And applies poison. So the poison damage makes more sense. But it's like, it's not, not what it says though. Weird. Look at your barrier. How did you get up to 90? What exactly does that do? 10% of maximum life. Well. See, these heavy machines can get a lot of barrier on them, right? 133. Okay, okay. I mean, maybe what I need to do is have this machine, that machine, and what's his name? Robinson? Because those ones want lots of barrier. This one can help them get it. And with enough of these beforehand, I can get even more barrier on them. The one that attacks fast applies barrier with each time he gets to attack, right? So, maybe? I don't just like this, because it does like just do damage and apply a lot of poison. Sort of. I think this is three poison a turn, enough poison to be... Super powerful? Maybe. Right now they're all surviving, but... I don't know how long that'll last. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. See, this guy... This guy is not too bad for getting barrier on himself. The guy with the wrench. But... I feel like anything else... See, this guy is not good at fighting individual enemies. He's good at, well, blasting everyone. Which is true of most of these guys, I guess. I'm kind of tempted to see what happens if I try and pair those three machines together. Uh, mortar. Ice and Ice Weakness. Applies Burn. Fire weakness. Hmm. I'll take this one. I don't expect to use it, but I mean, I've got it anyway, so I might as well. Right. Let me give more people time off. Let me get you in here, because I want to see what happens if I try and combine those guys together. Right? Uh, I guess I'll maybe put... You need some barrier, but that guy can give you barrier, except he's being taken out. So I'll put you there instead. Uh, I'd rather let those guys fill up the morale, honestly. Yeah, we'll try this. Um, I don't want to take more damage. Let's upgrade my traps? Question mark. 50% as barrier points. Potential. I like that these traps kind of work off of each other. Um soften them up and give them even more barrier if both traps get a fire first. Uh, no thanks, I'm not interested in the skeleton. Sanctuary. Ooh, curses. Bleeding, pre-demoralized, resistances. Mm. I don't normally use elemental stuff in the first few turns, but bleeding is always good, right? Oh, hello. 
Monster Skin run. Uh, oh, sure. Jeez. All sorts of random bonuses. Ah, uh, but sadly, I think I must stop the episode before I go into my next combat. What a shame, but such is life. Anyway. Yeah, this is going interesting. I like the new tank. <laughs> We're going to see how badly I can break barrier in the next battle. Um, it's not going to actually break, but it'll be something. Anyway, this was Silvertail. Be sure to come back if you like what you see. Remember to always pack a plan D, because here there'll be dragons.